Hello, Aussies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from John Lipinski, KF0HHS, who lives in nearby Gunnison, Colorado, which is very often, by the way, one of the coldest spots in the United States. It is chilly up there. Um, there's a, a state college up there, uh, Gunnison State University, whatever it is. My son uh, spent his first year of college up there, and I got reports of some really low temperatures as he walked to uh, his classes. It says, Dear Dave, thank you for your great videos. I've learned a lot from you and recently got my technician and then general license. My question is, how close together is it okay to install the 2 meter 70 centimeter antenna um, or a, a 20 meter or 40 meter or other HF vertical ground plane antenna? He says he wants to install a Yesu 857D transceiver in my 2006 Toyota Prius with more or less 40 by 60 roof. I, we've had Priuses and I think the roof is metal. Okay, the transceiver has two antenna jacks, one for VHF and one for HF. Okay, now what he wants to operate are 40 meter, 20 meter, 2 meter, and 70 centimeter. I'd like to install a hard mount in the middle of the roof that means drilling a hole in the roof. Yes, you can get antennas that do that. No, I do not recommend that because that messes up your resale value. Okay. Um, it's going to use ham sticks and a 17-foot telescoping antenna there for 20 meters and with a loading coil for 40 meters. Now, I'm assuming you're doing this portable uh, meaning you're parking at a park or something like that. That's a rather tall antenna to be dragging down the highway. You're going to wang that thing on bridges uh, for sure. Okay, so should I also put the 2 meter 70 centimeter mount up on the roof, maybe in front of the HF mount? If so, how close is okay, or would it be better to put it on the front fender somewhere else as far away? Thanks in advance, and thanks for your videos. Um, okay, let's see. We've got a VHF UHF antenna and we've got an HF antenna. Now, they are designed to receive and transmit very different things. That said, they shouldn't be on top of each other because remember the first rule of antennas is that everything affects everything. Okay, so uh, let's draw the Prius here. I don't know if you have um, the hybrid. Or whatever I know in the Toyota manual, it says not to put a two-way radio into it. But here's the here's the car. Okay, now a lot of people get a trunk mount. It just mounts on the edge of the trunk lid. Okay, and you can put your HF antenna here, and in the center a mag mount for a, um, see there would be a coil right here, a dual band vertical up there, okay? I think that would be plenty of separation. Now if this is already a mag mount, um, I would put this on the back here since the wind is going to be going this side at, you know, up to 75 to 80 miles an hour. Um, depending where you are on the freeway. There's even a spot in Texas where it's 85. Uh, tech, uh, Utah's got 80s, Colorado's 75 maxes. But uh, I would put the mag mount center there and put the HF antenna there, okay, with the little trunk mount uh, clip. Or you can put a mag mount uh, on, uh, let's see, the trunk on the... Prius goes a little bit like that, but somewhere in this range right here is where I would put it. Okay, because there's a window that's actually part of the trunk mount back here. So you can put it just above. I think that's plenty of separation. It is um, as though you've got a fan vertical. Uh, 
um, your signal is going to find the antenna at once and all the anten other antennas will have a very high impedance. So it really doesn't matter whether you put them next to each other, except of course, the fact that you've got that much metal next to itself will, will cause an issue. So there you have it. I think that uh, you can put it in fairly simply. Uh, please stick around for a few slides that show how to get in touch with me, how you can help the channel financially, and a nice list of all our patrons and channel contributors, whether it be tip or what. And we update that list once a month. We'll update it again at the end of September. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.